All right, guys. So today, <laughs> I'm sure you guys are gonna love this. We are going to be making beef jerky. It's not gonna be your ordinary beef jerky. Eight, eight or nine bags of just sliced up uh, round steak. That's gonna be the meat we're using for our jerky. But for our marinade, we are gonna be using just a bunch of random different liquids, and we're gonna see uh, see how they make the beef jerky taste, and see if any of them are better than soy sauce, which is you know typically a good or a standard beef jerky base is like soy sauce and then like some liquid smoke and you know some other things. But soy sauce is usually like a good base. We're gonna have one that's kind of be kind of like our control, which is just gonna be just teriyaki soy sauce. Yeah, let's just drop everything everywhere. My yeah, stuff's strong. So this will be a good base and a good uh, a good control. And I will also be letting all of these sit in the fridge and marinate for um, 24 hours. All right, there's that soy sauce. Our next one that we're gonna do, and this I for some reason I think this could be good or it could be horrible. It, it could really go either way. But we're gonna try Monster Energy. Just like about whatever. I don't usually drink this stuff, but. The weird tangy taste that it has, I think, could end up being good. I'm really curious to see <laughs> to see how that turns out. I think this one actually legitimately will be good because, like the soy sauce, it's very salty. We're gonna take a ramen noodle flavor packet and try that. So it has a very high, a very high salt content. I think one of these packets is like, I don't know, like a thousand or 2,000 milligrams of sodium. It's quite a bit. So we'll dump that in there. A little bit of water. <laughs> I think, I think that has a very high potential to be very, very good for some reason. Next up, this one is probably gonna be gross, but we're gonna do it anyway. Orange juice. <laughs> I don't know what made, what made me think orange juice. Here we are. There's no going back now. I'm sure this is probably gonna turn into something absolutely just foul. <laughs> something weird about meat floating around in orange juice. It's just, there's just something not right about that. Next, just because I know you guys would completely riot if I don't do it, obviously. Wow. I was able to do that without making a mess. Look at how disgusting that looks. I just realized this also has a very high salt content. So as far as, as far as beef jerky is concerned, this actually might not be that bad. This next one, I think this is actually gonna be really good. Red Hot Wings Buffalo uh, Hot Sauce. This one I think might be able to rival the uh, teriyaki soy sauce. Oh, that's actually... I think that's gonna be really, really good. Like, really good. The next two that we are gonna do kinda go hand in hand. We're going to do Mountain Dew, and well, it's supposed to be Coke, but Sam's Cola, basically the same thing. You guys can fight over that in the comments. These are either gonna be really good or really disgusting. Yeah, nothing like some good old fresh <laughs> Mountain Dew. That looks like, that looks like some good beef jerky. And last but not least, <laughs> lemon juice. I think, I think I might have done one of the jar videos where I put lemon juice with meat. And I think it ate away the meat. So hopefully that doesn't happen within 24 hours. All right, so I'm going to put all of these in the fridge. They're gonna marinate for 24 hours. And then in 24 hours, we will put them, we will load them up into the dehydrator and we will make our beef jerky. And then we will taste test them and see how they come out. All right, so before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. So I'm sure that most of you are probably carrying around wallets that look like this, you know, just big and bulky and outdated. So throw those wallets away, pick up a Ridge Wallet the Ridge Wallet is sleek, it's small, it's the size of a credit card. It actually holds 12 credit cards, which you can just pull in and out super easy, just like that. It also has a nice money clip on the back. 
so that you can hold some cash. They also come in over 30 different styles. They have several different types of aluminum, they have carbon fiber, they have titanium, they have a bunch of different styles. They also have over 40,000 five-star reviews. And they also come with a lifetime warranty. So you can buy this one wallet and carry it for life. And also, if you are kind of like on the fence about uh, buying one of these wallets, and you're not really sure if you're gonna like it or whatever, you can buy one and then you can test drive it for 45 days. And after 45 days, if you decide that you don't like it, you can just mail it back and get a full refund. So if you are interested in one of these wallets, you can go to rich.com slash tube or you can just click the link in the top of my description and then you can use code TUBE at checkout and you will get 10% off of your order. All right, our meats are done marinating. It is time to get them into the dehydrator. First, first two that are going on our, on our first tray, pickle. This is horrible. Ew, this doesn't even look like meat anymore. It, look, it, it looks dead. Well, I mean, I guess it is dead, but it looks like it looks like zombified. That's that's the word I'm looking for. It looks horrible. Next one is gonna be Coke. That actually doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look as bad as the pickle. So that's our first tray. Next up on our second tray is gonna be the ramen noodles. That doesn't smell good. It smells like it's gone bad or something. That'll work. Next, and probably the only one that will be good is the one that's soaked in teriyaki soy sauce. This one's probably actually gonna be like really good. All right, that's good. That's actually gonna be good. Next up is gonna be monster. <laughs> that shit doesn't smell too bad, to be honest with you. It looks horrendous. It's like, it turned the meat like gray. Put that right there. Uh, right next to that, we're gonna put the orange juice. Ugh. That's bad too. Who wants orange juice beef jerky? Now for our last tray. <laughs> Mountain Dew. That does not look like Mountain Dew anymore. It's turned from like a neon green to a it looks like Monster, honestly. That looks horrible. Almost regular meat color in the middle, and then like neon green on the sides. There's no way that turns out good. It even smells a little bit weird. Next up, soy sauce. Or soy sauce. <laughs> Hot sauce. This is the only one besides the soy sauce that I think actually has a chance of being good. I guess we'll, I mean, we'll, the taste test will tell us, but I don't think much of it's soaked in. And last but not least, the lemon juice. I don't know. I want to say it's going to be gross. If it will, it might be all right. The lemon juice really like, like really like stiffened up the meat. I mean, look at that. It's like rubbery. All right, that's, <laughs> that's our fully loaded dehydrator. I'm gonna let this thing run, you know, however long it takes, four, five, six, seven, eight hours. And we'll come back and we'll give it all the taste test. Well, it's done. Can't tell you how excited I am to try this stuff. All right, so right off the bat, it doesn't look horrible. Let me tell you, before I try any of this stuff, I, had, I ran this thing inside the house with all this, all these different flavor liquids and all this different stuff mixed together. This thing was putting off the weirdest combination of smells. Let's start off with this. This is the, the hot sauce. I think I may have let it run just a little bit too long. That's pretty dry. I definitely let it run just a little bit too long. It's not horrible. <coughs> it's a little, uh, well, concentrated. Something about the hot sauce being so uh, concentrated is a little, uh, a little too much. Maybe if you did it just maybe for a few hours, that might be a little bit, or maybe if you mix like half hot sauce, half water, that might be a little bit more, more tolerable. Let's go over to the Mountain Dew. This one's not as tough as that one. So there's gotta be something 
Something about the hot sauce makes the meat tougher, I guess. I don't like that. It, it tastes like, like you get like a beef flavor, kind of, and then you mix that with like, I don't even know how to describe it. Oh, like a really, like a, if you open a can of Mountain Dew, and then you let it sit out for like six months. Just, it tastes like expired Mountain Dew. All right, lemon juice. This one seems pretty tough too. That is oddly good. I'm gonna try this bigger piece. That is, that is very oddly good. It's like a, it's like a lemon head with beef jerky. It tastes fresh. It tastes like you're, like you're just taking a bite straight out of a lemon or something. And I, I mean, some of you might not like that flavor. I like lemons. That's actually, that I mean, that's surprisingly good. It's not like this, which is like really hard. It's soft. It feels juicy. That is a win-win. If you make beef jerky, I'll try it with a little bit of lemon. So now we're, <laughs> now we're on a, a nasty tray. We have monster and we have orange juice. Let's go with the monster first. Ugh, very hard. Mm-mm, mm-mm, uh-uh. That was, that's a, <coughs> that's bad. If you drink Monster, you know it has that like distinct, like, I don't even know what you'd call it, it just has like that distinct Monster flavor. That flavor combined with meat, like beef jerky, there's, it, it makes it taste like it's just rotten. Like it, it just tastes like you're taking a bite out of just the most rotten meat you can think of. Like it's like you're picking up a like a like a piece of roadkill and taking a bite out of it. It's just that is nasty. That is so bad. I don't know if the orange juice is gonna be any better. It smells like orange juice. It's very brittle too. Like very brittle. That's not horrible. <laughs> it's not, like I said, it's not horrible. Not something that I would ever do again. Finally, we're to a tray that at least has one thing that's good, which is this side, and this is the, this is the teriyaki soy sauce. So this one, this side has to be good. A little bit overdone. It seems like the stuff, the marinades that had the very high salt content, like the hot sauce, the soy sauce, Seems like the meat really uh, dried out a whole lot more. This is what the jerky is supposed to be. This is how it's supposed to taste. Oh, this is good. This is a 10 out of 10. I like this. That is some good stuff. Right beside that, we have our ramen broth. Dried out pretty good. That's not half bad. That's actually pretty good. I think that's a very close rival to the soy sauce. Like a very, very close rival to the soy sauce. I think both of these are 10 out of 10. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna finish this off. It's crazy how good that is. Even though it's, even though it's chicken flavor, which we all know that chicken ramen noodles isn't, <clears throat> isn't like a, a real chicken flavor. Added to jerky like this, that is good stuff. If you did like a mixture of like, Maybe a little bit of uh, teriyaki with a little bit of this um, ramen chicken broth. I think if you can bind those together, possibly, maybe with like a little bit of something else in there, I think you could have like a killer um, marinade. Cause that's, actually, that's really good. <sighs> All right, our last tray. We have pickle on this side, coke on this side. I think I'm just gonna get the pickle right out of the way. Super dry, again, another thing that had high salt, high salt content. Very dry. Ugh. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm -mm. That is no good. It makes it even worse because where the jerky is dry, you put it in your mouth, you start chewing on it, and then where it's so dry, it's got to, you know, it's got to get some moisture. It's got to soften up a little bit, and then once it starts softening up, it like, like it does, it doesn't taste like anything until it's softened up. And then as soon as it starts getting softened up, it's like it just like releases this like huge rush of just like concentrated, nasty pickle vinegar flavor that just, I mean, punches you right in the tongue. A concentration of like 10 million pickles condensed down to like a, a super concentrated like 
syrup or something. It's too much. That's absolutely disgusting. Let's move on to this Coke. Ugh. Uh-uh. Ooh. That one... <coughs> That was just as bad as the Mountain Dew. Same, same exact thing as the Mountain Dew. It just tastes like a, like an old, like expired, rotten, concentrated Coke flavor that just like, and you know, it, it like opens so many jars that smell like exactly how that tastes. And it's just, uh, it's repulsive. I don't know how else to describe it. If you put a piece of meat into a, a jar of coke and then you let it sit for 30 days and then you open it and then you smell it the smell that you're gonna smell is exactly what you would taste if you taste that that's just that's disgusting all right so that's the <laughs> that's the end of that that uh that turned out pretty bad but that didn't turn out quite as bad as i thought it was going to be so if you guys have any suggestions and maybe you want to i don't know see me try more different uh beef jerky marinade combinations. Leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.